reassure everyone there will be no car karaoke here, <laughs> just <laughs> answers. Yeah, that's probably for the best. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so my name is William, I'm with uh, Megan Woods uh, from the Wickram electorate, um, but we're just doing a bit of a drive in the Nissan Leaf, uh, and I'm going to just chuck this on our YouTube, and uh, just sort of, you know, talking about Leafs and, um, you know, ways that they can fit into New Zealand. Um, so I, I guess going back to what you just said before, um, you know, in terms of the government leading the way, Nationals announced their one in three um, government car policy. Yeah. What do you think of that? Like, do you think that's enough? Do you think that's a good place to start? Look, I, I think that every time that the government and its fleet um, yep. replaces a car, yep. um, there should have to be a reason why you wouldn't be buying it. Oh, that MP. sounds excellent, yeah. Um, that, you know, sometimes it might be MPI needs some vehicles with a slightly higher range and yep. things like that. It might not be practicable. Yep. But the reality is that most government fleet vehicles are driving around cities. Yeah, um, absolutely. And work like that. And for me personally, I mean, I just think that yeah. these are an absolute no-brainer. So it's, it's it sounds happen. like we should, rather than sort of saying, okay, we're going to do one and three for yeah. some arbitrary number, we need to be like, okay, everything should be EV where possible. And yeah. if it's not possible, then by sure, we don't yeah. want we want to maximise taxpayer money. But apart from that, yeah, drive the document. I mean, that, that's one of the things, and we need to be looking at the. Um, the cost of the the whole life of the vehicle. Yeah. So that often what we'll put off, off fleet purchases is a slightly higher capital charge. Yeah. Uh, or cost when you're buying an EV. Yeah. But what you've got to look at is actually the operating expense of these yeah, vehicles like as well. Petrol the, and maintenance. Yeah. The, it's much lower. Yeah. Um, in terms of the the, the operating costs and not um, not um, having emissions is also a big part of yeah, it. So yeah. as well as being the MP for Wigram, yeah. I'm also Labour's climate change spokesperson. Right, excellent. So um, these are questions that I think about often. Yeah, so. well I mean I'm, I'm sure you know it it's, must be frustrating so sort of preaching to the already converted but I mean you know you've got the so many reasons for EV adoption. I mean there's this cost savings from you know life of the fleet. Yeah. There's the particular emissions from yeah. burning gas. Yeah. Um, there's the um, you know bad for the climate uh, climate change because we're burning oil. Yeah. Um, what what about in terms of the New Zealand you know trade uh, deficit like the same of balance for you know bringing oil into the country doesn't you know running our fleet off our own generated electricity. Yeah. Well, well we have one of the most remarkable opportunities in the in the world in New Zealand in mm. terms of the the switch from. Um, traditional combustion engines to EVs to make yep. their absolute transition from fossil to renewable energy. In yep. most countries, countries are having to do the arithmetic yep. to see if um, it's worth the switch um, to EVs when you're burning fossil fuels to make the electricity to drive them. Yeah. But here, here. Well, our Christ electricity is, is, is South renewable. South Island is 100% yeah. renewable. Exactly. It's amazing. So it's an, it's an absolute one-for-one one switch from yeah. fossil fuel to renewables. And I mean, we've got to make sure that we're making that transition, and that will be a priority for Labour, yeah. is getting real and meaningful action on climate, yeah. that we've got targets, we've, we've got no option but to meet them. That's awesome. Um, okay, what about, so we talked about the, you know, the government target for fleets, which is what National's doing. Um, Greens have said that they want to remove um, the... Um, fringe benefit tax, is that something that's uh, Labour supportive Look, that's a, that's a discussion that happens in a, in a, in a lot of scenarios, and it, it can be a tool. Right. Uh, we haven't actually released our policy yep. at the time of recording okay, uh, this yep. video, cool. but look, there's a range of mechanisms that government can use, but I think one of the most powerful um, tools that the government has at its disposal is actually as the purchaser yep. of so many cars that right. go and on to fuel the second-hand market. market. Yep. Yeah. That's Cool. So, uh, so is there going to be an EV policy? Or well, we'll have a climate change policy right. and an and energy policy, and that will all be part of it cool. because these are part of our future and certainly something that Labour is thinking really carefully about. Cool. Awesome. Well, we won't record too long, but I guess one other thing I'd sort of ask you is just, um, you know, what would you say to someone who's uh, thinking about um, 
buying an electric vehicle or sort of wanting to know, you know, where they can, you know, where that would fit their lifestyle? Well, I think for most of us, we, we don't do, I mean, what the range of the LEAF is about 175 k's. Yeah. Most of us wouldn't do anywhere near 175 yeah, k's in a day. Yeah, average younger is about 20 k's Exactly. Days. Zipping around, um, doing your jobs. Yeah. Um, that, so for most of us, there's not an option that you're not going to have enough range. Yeah. Um, feels really nice to drive. I've ridden in EVs a number of times. Um, yeah. I was actually lucky enough to go to the Paris Climate Conference as part of the New Zealand delegation. Yeah. Um, and there was a big fleet of Nissan and Renault cars that were available for people to use. And I've never driven one until today, so awesome. this is kind of cool. Oh, that's really great. Okay, cool. Well, I'll end the recording there. But Thanks, thank you Will. very much for coming for a drive with me today and um, for sharing your thoughts. No, my pleasure. And thank you for the chance to drive one. Yeah, no worries. Thank you.